Bijou had told me she didn't have anything to do with the business. But Lane said the opposite. One of them was lying. The door was locked. Bijou, it's George again. The air was heavy with incense and alcohol. Reminded me of the old alma mater. What happened? Josh, please help me. I am lost. Help me, you must help me. What's wrong, Bijou? I can't play our song. I've lost Henri and now our song. You mean the record? How did it happen? I stumbled and trod on it by mistake. What song was it, Bijou? I'm lost without it. Lost, lost. The name of the song, Bijou. Jasmine. It was our song. I'll see what I can do. Please help me. Bijou's favorite record was smashed beyond repair. There was no way it could be fixed. There was no record on the turntable. I arrived back at the shopping arcade. I had a closer look at Bassam's stock. Check it out, George. I've had quite a stock update, and I've got to say the metrics on some of this stuff is startling. They looked interesting. A stack of those cards that play music when you open them. Hey, Bassam, how's business? Good to see you, George. Gotta say, the new branding's hitting the demographic right between the eyes. Sold anything? This is a soft market, George. Look to the margins. Look to the margins. Does one of your cards play the song Jasmine? Hmm. Sounds familiar. Let me check the database. I think that's by the Hairy Lobsters. Bassam certainly knew his stock. Aha! Here it is. How much? It's yours. If you mention my shop to three other people. Done. Thanks. Thank you. Bijou, it's George again. That wouldn't have worked. How about this card? It plays the tune. How wonderful! Dance with me, Henri. Bijou was drunk and clamoring for Henri. I found myself at Bijou's well-equipped dressing table. I grabbed a strip. Prepare for wax.
Sorry, little fella. I'll see you in Rio. Stealing a flower from a corpse. How low had I sunk? I didn't want it on my eyes, but perhaps a slight dusting. My hair was now the same color as Henri's. Time to bring Henri back to life. Henri had more facial hair than me. I needed a brown goatee. With my mouth firmly closed, I added the wax strip to my upper lip. Instant goatee. Mmm. Looking good, but not quite there yet. It was hard to see the color of Henri's eyes behind the glasses. I added Henri's glasses. I looked more and more like a gallery owner. It was working, but I needed something else. I needed to flower power my outfit. I added Henri's flower to my buttonhole. The jasmine definitely gave me that perfect hippie vibe. Getting there, but I needed a little more. I had the outfit exactly, but I needed something extra to ensnare the senses. I added Henri's breath to my disguise, made my eyes water. There. As I looked into the mirror, I saw Henri looking back at me. Henri, there you are, you naughty boy. Dance with me, my little roll mop. I've missed you. With pleasure, Cherie. Henri, isn't this wonderful? Just like old times. Darling, I need the safe key. Do you have it? Of course. Didn't I promise? Here, sweetie. Better let her sleep. I had the key. And besides, I wanted to get my hands on that letter of provenance. I was surprised to see Father Simeon at the cafe. George, a moment, if you please. Is everything all right, Father? No, my son. Not at all. Great evil is upon us. That sketch you showed me in the gallery, the study from La Maledictio, it showed an image hidden inside the Ouroboros, a dangerous image. Dangerous? The symbol represents a heresy, an object that the Gnostics call the Tabula Veritatis. The Tablet of Truth? It is a tablet of lies, a tool of Lucifer. 
Tell me more about this Tabula Veritatis. It is an artifact capable of undoing the whole of creation. It was smuggled out of the Holy Land millennia ago, and brought to Europe by the Cathars, an evil Gnostic cult. In 1209, the Church launched a glorious crusade in the Cathar heartlands of southern France. We wiped out almost all the Cathars, and with them, the evil that is Gnosticism. My order, the Dominicans, were formed at that time to seek out and eradicate any remaining Gnostics. But we failed in our primary objective. We did not find the Tabula Veritatis. We presumed it lost, but the painting suggests it is still in Gnostic hands. How is La Melodexio connected to all this? I believe it contains clues that point to the location of the tablet. Clues constructed for a Gnostic to solve. If someone were to decrypt the painting and find the Tabula Veritatis, who knows what evil would be unleashed upon the world. So, you're suggesting that this image of the Tabula Veritatis is hidden in the Ouroboros on the painting? It is obvious now. The Ouroboros is a symbol of the Gnostics, and the tree it contained symbolized knowledge, hidden Gnostic knowledge. Were the Cathars all killed? All that came forward to fight, but like a weed, their roots were deep. We did not fully destroy their evil. I still don't get why the Gnostics are so evil. They see God as simply the creator of the physical world, and reveal Lucifer as the lord of the spiritual realm. Wow. What's so terrible about this tablet? What, what does it do? Shh. Like Lucifer himself, the Gnostics could be anywhere. We must talk somewhere more private. Uh, thank you, Father. That was some story. Be careful. Guard this knowledge. There are those who would do anything to find the tabula. Please excuse me, I have to get back to the gallery. I will remain here and follow you when no one is looking. I have more I must tell you. I had to get into the gallery and find the provenance, but I was really looking forward to hearing what else Father Simeon had to tell me. The door was locked. The letter of provenance was in the safe, but where was the safe? The statue was jaunty. Up close and personal, I could see that the fig leaf was hinged. Thankfully, there was no one around to see me do this. Very interesting. The ring had an inscription, Henri and Bijou forever. Huh. Henri had bought Bijou a big diamond ring. I had a feeling the ring would be useful. A note was attached to the front of a document wallet. It read, Cherie, this should do the trick. Your darling Wilfie. Now why would Hobbes be sending romantic little notes to Bijou? That had to be the elusive provenance. It clearly stated that Madofsky was the owner, but I'd learned never to take things at face value. I had to take a closer look at this. At first glance, the provenance looked authentic, but something wasn't right.
The sketch was drawn on similar paper to the promenades. The coffee cup stains matched exactly, as did the tear. The promenades must have been created by Hobbes. It was a fake, which meant Madofsky wasn't the true owner. I had to get out there and find out what happened. The diamond ring was just what I needed to cut through the glass. Father? No sticks. You must stop them. Who did this, Simeon? Don't let them. The tablet. They are going to raise the devil. Lucifer himself. Those were his last words. First Henri, now Simeon. Who was behind this? And what was Simeon trying to tell me? Simeon had been carrying a scan of an old manuscript with a covering note. Both were written in Latin. It was a photocopy of an old Latin text. Although a bit rusty, my Latin was still up to the job. It read, And thus spoke the accused. In this ritual we find succor. Clad in blue, the perfecti take the form of the spiritual and look towards the rising sun, toward the tree of knowledge. Clad in green, the credentes look the other way, towards the setting sun, where stands the tree of life. And all shall know that the light of knowledge is blue, and that the light of life is green. For thus was the light of Eden, both blue and green, intertwined with the light of man to become pure. Pure light, white light, pure light will win. So it was written in the old texts, affirmed by the tabula veritatis. And these were the accused's last words. It was powerful stuff. I wondered how it connected to La Maledicio. My God, what have you done? Huh? I know this looks like... like you've been caught red-handed. Excuse me. Nico, hang on. Lane, it's not what it looks like. Murdering a priest, Stobart? Is there no end to your depravity? It's a simple misunderstanding. Look, I need to go. I'll be at Nico's apartment. Nico! In here. I thought you were being attacked. When I arrived, there was someone here. He rushed me, knocked me down. Did you get a look at him? No. It happened so quick, and then he was gone. What a mess. This blood. Where's Marquez? I don't know. He must be badly hurt. Or dead. Not another killing. What do you mean? I just came from the gallery. Father Simeon's been shot. My God! Who did it? I don't know. But before he died, he begged me to stop the Gnostics from raising the devil. The devil? Whoever's doing the killing, Georges, it's certainly not him. Okay, but who? Simeon and Marquez were both attacked at the same time. Just, what are we up against? I don't know. 
But whoever came here was looking for something. The place has been ransacked. I'm going to clean up. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'll take a look around. The sofa was a real mess, but there was something between the cushions. It was one of the photographs that Nico had taken during the robbery. It showed a section of La Maledicio. Marquez had written on it. Marquez had circled one of the figures and written Judas. I wondered if he was identifying him as Judas Iscariot. Back in Bible class, Judas was definitely one of the bad guys. Marquez had circled one of the figures in the tower and identified her as Magdalena. That had to mean Mary Magdalene. Marquez had scribbled the word Sants across the photograph. I wonder what he meant. There'd clearly been a struggle. Marquez must have put up quite a fight. I spotted something in the mess. It was Marquez's family photo. Marquez wouldn't have intentionally left the photo behind. The chair had been knocked over in the fight. But there was something glinting underneath. It was Marquez's medallion. There was still quite a blood stain. I really hoped that Marquez was all right. Hey, Josh, you find anything? Marquez's medallion. And one of your photos of the robbery. Marquez scribbled all over it. I think he was trying to work something out in the painting. Simeon must have been right. The painting is some kind of map. We should... Hold on, my phone. Hello, me? This is Inspector Naven. I am looking for the American, Monsieur Stobart. Are you with him? Yes, he's right here. Mon Dieu, stay calm, madame. Where exactly are you? In my neighbor's apartment. But why do you... Do not worry, I am just moments away. Be very careful. He is armed and highly dangerous. But he seems so charming. Trust me, madame. The leopard never changes his breath. That was Nave. You're in big trouble. Lane saw me with Simeon's body. He set me up for sure. Well, Nave's on his way, and he'll be here any moment. We have to go, Nico, now. Down the back stairs. We'll go through Fleur's shop. Ah, there you are. Right on time. Sorry, Fleur, but we can't stop. Suit yourself. Damn it. Sergeant Moo is outside the door. He's talking to someone. Oh, no. It's Adam. Who? My neighbor. Ah, the pug lover with the trashed apartment. That's the one. Hey, Fleur. Great to see you again. You were expecting us? 30 more seconds and you would have been caught. Charged with the murder of a priest. Whoa. How do you know about that? News travels fast through the ether, Georges. Take this. What do I do with a ball of yarn? Bribe Moo with a nice Aaron sweater? You will find the way. Now, excuse me. I think it's time you planned your escape. Oh, hi, Adam. Hi, Nico. They say I can't go up to my apartment. Oh, really? I wonder why. Yeah, I wonder why too. 
Yeah, I'm George, by the way. Adam, I live in the apartment next to Nico. I know. I mean, how interesting. Fleur, can I sit here for a while, until the police let me back in? By all means. So what now? You take a look around. I'll see if there's a way to get past Moo. So, what do you think of this coin? Oh my god, that's a platinum 12 ruble. It is? I, I mean, uh, yeah, of course it is. You know, it's going to be a rough day, Adam. Why don't you keep the coin? Are you serious? I'll get my pal Stefan to value it. His coin shop's just around the corner. Hey, maybe you could use the money to redecorate your apartment. But it doesn't need redecorating. That's a matter of opinion. I stopped the disc. Ocean dreamscapes. Just what I needed with the day I was having. There were boxes stacked along the wall. They were all labeled. Florist's phone. Flower food. Ribbon. Pee pee. Bouquet labels. Pee pee? My curiosity was aroused. It was a plastic statue. Careful with that. It's just come in. Special order. What is it? A replica mannequin piece. Fill it with water, pop in some batteries, and watch it go tinkle. Hmm. Very tasteful. Those might come in handy. I slotted the battery into the mannequin. A jaunty series of LEDs lit up around the figure. I placed the statue in the trolley. Flirt, do you mind if I change the music? Good idea. The sound of lapping waves was affecting Moo, but I was going to need something more to open the floodgates. Slunch it, wee man. Slunch it. I gave the trolley a push. Fleur certainly kept her bearings well greased. Okay. That's Moo out of the way. Let's go, Nico. Where? To see Bijou. She's been telling me a crock of lies since day one, and right now, I want the truth. So you're telling me that Bijou and Hobbs were having an affair? Yeah, so, she's got some explaining to do. Unsurprisingly, the front door was locked. Oh. Bijou, I need to talk to you. I need to wait. I have such a soft head. No, it really can't.
In the daylight and without the fog of incense, the apartment looked even weirder. George, how delightful to see you. May I present my friend Nico? George and I go way back. Oh, really? Well, don't worry, my dear. I won't steal him, though he is rather a cutie. <clears throat> uh, Bijou, we're here to clear up a few points, if you don't mind. How are you, Bijou? I have the teeniest of headaches, Cherie. It always happens when I sleep in the afternoon. I figured it was the champagne before the nap that had done the damage. I need you to be honest with me, Bijou. Did you know that the provenance was fake? For la malediction? I had no idea. Lane said you had him approve it. Silly fool, he's getting confused again. Do you know a painter called Hobbes? No, I don't think so. He certainly knows you. So many artists, darling. One can't remember them all. Hobbes appears to know you very well. I saw a sketch of you in his portfolio. Must have been a study for a painting. Are you sure there's nothing else? Quite sure. This is a note from Hobbes that I found in your safe. How did you get access to that? How dare you? Bijou, you gave me the keys. I did? Oh, my head. I don't remember. We didn't do anything else, did we, Georges? The note is addressed to you, so Lane was telling the truth. You were in charge of the paperwork. Oh, so what if I was? That's not illegal? So you had the provenance made. You knew it was fake. I'm not admitting anything. The note from Hobbes makes it quite clear that you knew him rather well. Oh, all right, I did. So, you lied to me. I believe this is for you. A diamond ring? What has that to do with you? A gift for you, from Henri. Henri bought me so many expensive things. He never did it to. I think Henri asked Madovsky for more money so that he could buy you that ring. And maybe that's the reason he was shot. Nico. No, Henri. She's right. Henri always felt he had to fight to keep me. Truth is, I love them both. Wilf and Henri. And now Henri is dead because of me. Go ahead. Ask your questions. I promise I will tell the truth this time. So, you and Hobbes are lovers? We have been ever since 75. Henri never knew about it. They were in a band together back then. So you were unfaithful to Henri right from the start. It was never cheating. I love them both. So you had Hobbes fake the provenance so that Lane would approve it for the insurance? Wilf passed it to me, and I persuaded Lane to sign it. He never knew it was a fake. Wilf is brilliant at what he does. So what was Madovsky's role in all this? It was all his idea. He'd had an offer on La Melodixio from someone. So Wilf put Madovsky in touch with me and Henri. He wanted to cash in on both the sale and the insurance. He set up the security company to deal with the robbery. I've been such a fool. Henri was never supposed to die. I know you didn't mean for that to happen. 
Wilf called me yesterday trying to comfort me. He said he would take care of me, that he had plans. Does that mean he has the painting? Yes. He joked about a secret place. Something about the original being behind my behind. I didn't understand. Thanks, Bijou. You've been very helpful. You know, I had the strangest dream earlier. Henri was here, and we danced together again. Such bliss. That must have been wonderful. Anyway, thanks again for your time, and... <clears throat> Nico, I think it's time we went to London. George, do you have something you need to tell me? No. Can't think of anything right now. Well, let's go. Shall we? <laughs>